Hello, Disney Card Toys here, and today I'm going to show you this amazing Princess Water Palace set. And sold separately are these Petal Float Princesses. Well, let's take a closer look at this water palace. It is really easy to assemble. It has this nice swing for Rapunzel. Cinderella's hanging out at the stairs. Ariel's just standing here looking pretty, and Belle is just about to twirl. With this set, you can create your own waterfall, so let's try that out. The roof of the gazebo comes right off, and you can fill it up with water. Then pour it on the gazebo and Rapunzel will get wet! Woo! I don't know about you guys, but I don't think Rapunzel got wet enough. So I've got this water pitcher, and let's get Rapunzel soaked! Oh no, my hair! Ah! Come on Rapunzel, you're a bath toy! You're supposed to be getting wet! Don't freak out! Alright, Rapunzel, let's dry you off by pushing you in the swing. Ooh, I want to help! Oh, great. Thanks, Ariel. Why don't you just give her an underdog? One, two, three, and underdog! Uh-oh. Oh, man, you got stuck! And I think Cinderella fell down the stairs. Ooh, that's not pretty. Okay, Ariel, try it again. One, two, three, underdog! Woohoo! You did it, Ariel! And look at Rapunzel. She's swinging so fast. Okay, I think Rapunzel's had enough time in the swing. She's kind of stealing this show. We have to give another princess a turn to show off this water palace. Next up is Belle, who will teach us how to twirl around. So just grab this beautiful Belle doll, and we'll stick her in this little pink flower. And now it's twirling time. Twirl, twirl, twirl. Look at that beautiful form. Great job, Belle. But that's not all, the dolls can glide down the slide. Here Cinderella, you're up. Arms out, feet down, woo! Ooh, she landed on her face. Maybe we should try this in the water. All right, ready girls? Ariel, you're up first, woo! And now it's Belle's turn, woohoo! Rapunzel. And last but not least, Cinderella. They are all floating beautifully, except for Rapunzel. She's upside down! And just in case you were wondering, the palace does float, but does not stand up. It's meant to be hooked onto your bathtub. The dress design on these dolls is pretty unique. When they're in the water, the dress floats up and it looks like flower petals. And of course, the four petal float princess dolls you can collect are Cinderella, Ariel, Belle, and Rapunzel. The petal float dolls are all super cute and even a lot of fun without the water palace. Jeez girls, I am so excited to go to the mall today and go shopping. I've been wearing the same frozen dress for who knows how long. I just really need new clothes. True that, sister. I am so tired of these old Scottish rags. Oh, they've just been tattered and worn and they smell like haggis. I can't wait to get rid of them. Okay, ladies, let's stop just talking about buying new clothes and just go do it because I can't stand wearing this big poofy girly dress anymore. I want some real clothes. Okay, ladies, let's shop till we drop. Well, I'm going to go first because I can't stand these old Scottish rags anymore. Okay, let's see. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ooh, I love this new outfit and I love the green. It totally matches my hair. Oh, I just love it. Oh, it is definitely my turn now. I can't wait to get out of this dress. Okay, I am out and I feel fabulous. Oh, I just love this new outfit and the skirt matches my eyes. It's terrific. Okay, ladies, move out of my way because I needed to get out of this dress like yesterday. I can't take it anymore. Oh, this feels great. Da, 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 da. Oh, this new outfit is so me. And look, I've got watermelons on my pants. Aren't I just so summery and festive? Oh, I feel so good. Woohoo, my turn. I really need a makeover. Oh, just gonna get the pants on. Okay. Whew. Okay. I feel great. Oh, I love this new outfit. I feel like I look 10 years younger. 
Wow, guys, I had such a stress-free shopping experience today. Like, I wasn't pressured into buying anything, and nobody critiqued what I wore and told me it didn't look good. It was great. Yeah, good point. Usually when we go shopping together, someone's always yelling at us about our outfit not matching or looking bad on our complexion or us needing to tan. You know, I wonder why our shopping experience was so peaceful and, you know, really nice. I mean, usually there's someone around that's critiquing what we're wearing and telling us that we're ugly. Hmm, I wonder what's missing. Barbie with us. That's why it was so stress-free and fabulous. <sighs> oh my goodness, you guys! I can't believe you went shopping without me! That's like the one thing in this world that I love and I do better than anyone else at shopping! I'm so mad! Um, Barbie, we didn't invite you to our shopping trip because every time we do, it's like really stressful and you always tell us that we're ugly you always say that the clothes we pick out don't match anything, so we just kind of wanted like a nice, um, you know, calm experience that was fun for shopping, you know? Nobody goes shopping without Barbie! Nobody! Barbie, your actions right now are proving why we don't go shopping with you anymore. You're going crazy, and look, you're totally destroying the mall. Wait, what? Hey guys, you know what? I've decided I'm going to be like super nice and I'm going to let you just shop in peace. Don't worry about me. OMG, did she really just say that she's going to stop being crazy and just let us shop and let us be? That sounds really fishy. Yeah, ladies, this is not typical Barbie behavior. So uh, just keep your eyes peeled, watch your back, and let's just go to the food court to be safe, okay? Okie dokie! <laughs> I hope this magic potion I got from Lil Goth works! I can't believe those princesses didn't invite me shopping! So this will be my perfect revenge! Just make these dresses come to life! <laughs> Okay, just sprinkle here and a little dab there and a little sprinkle here. And hopefully their clothes can make a perfect revenge. And I can just sit and watch. And now I can just sit and enjoy the show. <laughs> Um, girls, I'm kind of scared because Barbie's been gone for quite a long time without causing any kind of trouble, and I know she's really mad on the inside, and it's just really scary because who knows what she's been doing this whole time, you know? Oh, ladies, I think Barbie has had a change of heart. Maybe she's thought about what she's done, and she's decided to be nice from now on. OMG! What is going on over there? Look what's happening to our dresses! <laughs> Our dresses have turned into vicious monsters and they want to eat us! Ah! Oh, get away from me, dress! Sorry, dress, just stay away. I know I'm not, I'm not tasty. Bring it on, you old Scottish rags! Come here! Come and fight me, you yeah, little Oh, 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 I'm gonna take you down! Yeah, no, no dress is going to beat me! Oh, stop it, dress! No, stop, stop trying to eat me! Ah, oh, no, no, no! I'm sorry, I'm sorry, you just weren't comfortable! <laughs> if you like this video, please click like and subscribe! <laughs> And in the comments, let us know how we can stop these evil dresses from trying to eat us. Oh no, I gotta go! Alright Barbie, are you ready to water ski now? I don't know, I don't know if I'll be able to hold on the whole time, I'm scared. Ah, too fast, hey, you're going too fast, hey, slow down. Ah. Polly, 
please stop the boat! Stop the boat! It's somebody else's turn! I don't need a board when I have flippers! Woo! Wait, wait, this is too fast even for mermaids with flippers! I'm so scared! I'm so scared! Ah! Hello, girls! Okay, girls, I've never driven a boat before, but this should be pretty easy, just like a car, right? Oh, da, da, da. oh no! Chemical dispenser straight ahead! Oh! Oh no! Oh no! Oh! Help! Somebody help me! Somebody help us! We're drowning! Uh, <gasps> oh, somebody please, help us! Please, somebody, somebody help us, please. us! This is why I have flippers and nobody else doesn't. Uh, Elsa needs to learn to drive better. Oh, I guess I'll pick up this part of the boat. Uh, push! Uh, uh. Wow, Ariel, thanks so much for saving us. We're so lucky to have a mermaid as a friend. And the boat didn't even sink to the bottom. How did that even happen? Well, Polly, I swim super fast underwater, and I'm pretty strong under the water, too, so I wouldn't let it sink. That is truly remarkable. All right, guys, let's go home now. The toy featured in this video is the Polly Pocket Tropical Party Yacht. This set comes with a separate boat for Polly Pocket where she can water ski. And the boat transforms from this huge party yacht with a water slide to just a regular boat. The smaller boat that Polly Pocket comes with is super awesome. Check it out. So you have a boat and then she has a little holder for her hands and her body to keep her attached to the boat when she's water skiing. Here's her little board, and she can do super awesome tricks. Watch this, if you press this little orange part of the boat, she flips up in the air and spins. This is so cool, we have to try it again. Woo! Whoops, and she lost her board. All right, let's get her feet back in her board. Just push it on in here, and now she can try again. Woohoo! Okay, Polly's had enough turns on this thing. Let's see if it works with any of the Magic Clip dolls, or even the Barbie dolls that I have. So I'll put Polly in the driver's seat of the boat here, and she fits in pretty well. I'm just gonna turn her head. There we go. And let me grab someone else to water ski. Here's Rapunzel. I have her in little Polly Pocket outfit and that kind of helps hold her in place just because the outfit's rubbery. So I'll put her hands in there. And now let's see if she can spin and woo! She stays on. Yay! That's the most important part. Let's try again. Woo! Perfect. Woo! Uh oh. Oops. Spoke too soon. <laughs> Sorry Rapunzel. Which I guess doing this on the concrete wasn't the best idea. Let me give Rapunzel a board and see if that helps a little bit. Okay, it's nice and tight. And well, oh, I already lost it. You know what, Rapunzel? I give up. Alright, enough with the water skiing. I'm going to show you the rest of the boat. This is everything that the playset comes with. Polly's boat comes with this nice relaxing pool on the side. And there's a water slide that leads to it. So let's take the water slide down. And we see that's pretty fun. But oops, no water. Uh oh, let's add some water. Woo, okay, let's splash some water in there. That's much better. She's <laughs> just landing in a hard pool. Okay, now on the deck, there's this nice little patio chair and an umbrella so Polly can get a tan. Or she can get a tan and relax in this hammock. The hammock is held up by these cool little palm trees. And on the other side of the boat, there's a grill where Polly can grill some hamburgers or some hot dogs. The grill's pretty awesome because there's this little knob on the side where you can rotate what kind of food you want to make. The set also comes with all of these accessories, a spatula, sunscreen, a pretty necklace, and two drinks. 
Those pieces are super tiny. We don't want to lose those. Luckily, there's some storage containers at the front of the boat. They're just right underneath this pink deck. Super handy. And when you're done, you can easily fold up the bow. So just fold it in the palm trees, and then you have to disconnect the slide and the stairs. Those fold down nicely. And then fold in the decks on the side, and ta-da, we have a nice little boat. Even a little inner tube on top. And the little boat slides inside the big boat. And now this boat can go on the water. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more fun water videos like this one, please click like and subscribe. And in the comments, let me know if you think I'm a good boat driver. I don't think I'm that bad. Hi everyone, Elsa here. And Anna here. And today we're going to dress up and get some new clothes at this Tink Spling Boutique. And this set of course comes with this beautiful Tinkerbell doll. I love her hair, it looks so real, unlike my plastic hair. And she has fab clothes too. And this set comes with 15 different accessories like all these dresses and shoes and purses. Oh, I can't wait to shop at Tink's Boutique. Okay, Elsa, now talk about the clothes and the accessories. Let's open this thing up and try on some outfits. Okay, the shoes are here, the purses, the clothes. I think we've got everything set up. Oh, all the dresses here are so pretty. Look, all the skirts look like they're made out of flower petals. I know, they're so beautiful. I want to try on everything, but where are we going to try on all this stuff? There's no dressing room here. Hello, girls. I overheard you talking, and um, did you say you needed a dressing room? Oh, wow, Polly. I can't believe you heard our conversation. You must have really good hearing or something, but yeah, we really do need some kind of dressing room. Do you have one? Oh, of course I do, sillies. I specialize in fashion. Let me go grab it. I'll be right back. Oh, oh, oh boy. Oh, this thing is quite heavy. Uh, oh, sorry, Anna. <laughs> Oh, wow, Polly, I can't believe you walk around with this huge dressing room everywhere, but it does help us in this case. Why don't we invite some friends over and play dress up? That would be so awesome. That sounds like so fabulous. I'll go grab them. Hey, wow, well, Polly is grabbing all of our friends. Why don't we dress up Tinkerbell in some outfits? That'd be fun. Ooh, let's put her in this pretty pink leafy feathery dress. I love this one. Um... Elsa, I kind of accidentally ripped her wings off, but that should help us get her outfits on easier, so I think it's okay. Oh yeah, I'm sure it's fine. Let's just get this dress on and see how it looks. Dun 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 dun, and she's ready. Wow, she is so pretty in this pink dress, and I put her wings back on for you, Anna. Oh thanks, I want to see her in all the other outfits though. Let's try everything on. Hey guys, I brought some friends over and now we can play some dress up. Hey girlfriends, I am so ready to try on some clothes. Polly said clothes and I was like, where? I've got to be there. Well, you came to the right place. Let's get beautified. Oh, Tink's dress looks so cute on me. I love the little leaves. Oh, I really like this purple and green flower petal dress. It totally reminds me of my mermaid colors. Oh my goodness, look how glam I am. I've got like a pink dress with even more pink and it's poofy. And did I mention it's pink? Oh, it's so awesome. This pink and yellow dress is so fabulous. I just love it. It's matching my hair, which is of course my most prominent feature. I've never worn a glitter dress like this before. This is amazing. I'm now addicted to glitter. I want glitter everything. Do they have glitter purses here or glitter shoes? Oh, I just love this dress. It's perfect for me and it's my perfect colors too. Purple and blue and the skirt is glittery and I love how it flows. I am so keeping this. I am not letting this one go. We all look so fabulous. Oh, I feel like a swan, like a ballerina. La -da 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 -da. La -da -da. Ah! Um, yeah, Barbie, I don't think you should try out for Swan Lake. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to click like and subscribe. And in the comments, let us know which Tinkerbell dress you like the best. Do you like my pretty blue and glittery sparkly one? Or do you like my glittery green dress? 
Let us know in the comments. Hey, I'm ready to try out my new glitter dress. You Hans, you should not be wearing a dress, and that is not a glitter dress. Just go back to the Southern Isles. Oh, but I want to spin with you guys. Mm, mm no way. Fine, I'll go hang out with Ursula. Hello, Disney Card Toys here, and today I'm going to show you this brand new glitter glider magic clip doll playset. This playset works with all of your glitter glider dolls, but it only includes Cinderella and Gus Gus. But sold separately, you can buy Ariel and Princess Anna. Rapunzel, Elsa, Belle, and Princess Aurora. With the special glitter glider dresses, the dolls can slide down the slide and make it to the ball. And at the ball, they can spin on the dance floor. One of the coolest things about this set is your flip and switch castles actually connect to this playset. I've got all of these magic clip castles for Anna, Rapunzel, Ariel, and Belle, and so maybe in a different video, I'll connect them all to the playset and it'll be really exciting. And here is the Glitter Glider Castle playset out of the box. The hardest part really is just getting it out of the box, but it's not too bad to set up. You can actually assemble it a couple of different ways, but I have it assembled with the really tall tower for Cinderella. Now here are some of the features. We have the spinning dance floor, and I really like this because it's actually really easy for a kid to use. You just have to move this lever, and it's got the nice lever to hold your thumb in place. And when the princesses are done dancing, they can retire back to Belle's bedroom. There's a nice little bed here for the dolls, but also, it's like a top secret piece of furniture here. There's a vanity on the other side that stands up, and this is almost exactly like the bed that comes in the Frozen Castle. And from the dance floor, the princesses can go up, and the slide is actually textured. You can feel the little pebble rocks in it. On the second floor, I have set up a nice table with teacups and glasses and plates so the princesses can eat here. This pink room is actually patterned for Princess Aurora, and you can take her magic clip dress, and there's a little hanger hanging from the ceiling, so you can hang up her dress, it's off the floor, and it looks pretty that way. Next, we can head up another slide, and at the very top, I put Cinderella and Gus Gus. Her castle, I think, is the prettiest in the set. I really like the light blue. Here's Gus Gus. He's adorable. And on his bottom, he's got a little metal marble, and this helps him roll. So let's see him in action. Woo! But we have double the fun here. Let's go down the other slide. And now it's time for him to spin. Come on, dance, buddy. Woo! Now, what makes a glitter glider dress? Not only is the glitter... It is a glider, so I guess the name makes sense, but there's wheels at the bottom, and that's what makes Cinderella spin and roll. But this glitter glider dress is still a magic clip dress too, so you can just squeeze the bottom and Cinderella comes out. And now it's Cinderella's turn to glide. Woohoo, one more, Wee! And now Cinderella is finally at the ball, and this time she didn't need her mice to help her make her dress. Now Cinderella has a lot of princess friends here with Ariel, Belle, Merida, Anna, and Rapunzel, and of course Elsa, but I don't own the glitter glider dresses for them, so we can be creative here. See look, there's no wheels at the bottom of Elsa's dress, but what we can do is take off her dress. That's what these magic clip dresses are for. You're supposed to kind of interchange them anyway. We'll take Cinderella out of her dress and put it on Elsa, and now Elsa can glide. Oh, her hair stuck. There we go, now she can glide. Ooh, and Elsa looks so pretty in this dress. It was like it was made for her. See, and Cinderella's happy too, because she gets to wear Elsa's dress. Yay, let's glide. Wee! Gus Gus, would you like to dance with me? Oh, absolutely. Yay, now we'll have Anna give it a try. And Rapunzel, she looks nice and blue. And Belle, she looks amazing.
Ariel needs a turn. And last but not least, Merida. Woo! And they are having one big giant girl dance party. Woo! And spin and spin and spin. If you think this playset is awesome, please click like and subscribe. Disney princesses to the Glitter Glider wedding competition. Today you will all be competing against each other to see who will win the free reception and wedding here at the Glitter Glider Castle. You'll all be competing in three different categories by our lovely judges, Princess Belle, Princess Snow White, and Queen Elsa. Our contestants are Prince Eric and Ariel. Rapunzel and Eugene and the lovely Cinderella and Prince Charming. The couples will be judged in three categories. First in best dressed, second in gliding and elegance, and third with the best twirl. And let's start the competition with best dressed. Ariel's wearing a very traditional wedding dress and the poofy sleeves are very 1989. She's sporting a very lacy beautiful veil up top her head connected to her crown and her hair seems long and wavy and down just like it normally is but it is gorgeous. She has some beautiful sea foam embroidery on the front of her dress as well as a beautiful pink bouquet basket. And it looks like Prince Eric is dressed in normal wear. He's wearing his traditional tailcoat and a baldric around his shoulder down to his waist. And he has the military shoulder pads as well as some canyon boots. Very classy. And Rapunzel's looking very gorgeous. She's got a nice simple white dress, a bow on the bodice, a nice neckline. And she's got a nice purple beads in front of her dress matching her purple bouquet. It's absolutely gorgeous. Now the one thing everyone looks forward to with the Prunzel is her hair. Obviously it's longer than the floor so she styled it in a nice long curl so that she doesn't step on it when she's walking down the aisle. Absolutely genius. And Eugene is sporting a very traditional outfit with the baldric with the sun emblem from Rapunzel's kingdom attached to his shoulder and a nice vest. Although his brows are quite thick and probably could have used a nice waxing before the wedding. And Cinderella's wearing a beautiful white gown with a Bertha dropped neckline. She has the draped air skirt, her traditional look, and a beautiful light blue embroidered front. And all accented with some beautiful white gloves. Now it looks like she's wearing three different headpieces. Her traditional blue headband, a nice little crown, and a beautiful silk veil. Very nice. And Prince Charming looks very charming indeed with some kind of frock coat, his traditional shoulder pads, red cufflinks, and nice red pants. And he's sporting a very slick haircut. Alright princesses, who do you think won the first round of the best dressed? Well Merida, all three women were dressed very well, stunning, stunning dresses. For me, I, I just didn't like Ariel's hair because it was down and it's just how she normally wears it. I mean, for your wedding day, you really should dress up a little more. Rapunzel looked great, but really Cinderella gets my vote. Well, I just love what Rapunzel did to her hair. It was just stunning and so creative to curl her hair up like that because before this show, I was thinking about her hair and how she was going to wear it. So I think she did the perfect job. Rapunzel gets my vote. I did not like Ariel's hair or Rapunzel's hair. For a wedding, you should put your hair up like in a braid like mine. So I am going to vote for Cinderella. I also loved her dress. It was both traditional but also modern. And the judges have spoken and it looks like Cinderella wins the first round. Oh 
we did it, Prince Charming, we did it! Yes, you are very well dressed. Mwah. Oh, thanks. Well, you helped pick out the dress, too. Alrighty then, the next part of our competition is for all the princesses to wear this glitter glider dress to see how eloquently and gracefully they can glide in it. Um, I don't think I can fit into this dress. My hips are too wide. This is just, this is a very small dress. Prince Charming, you're not supposed to be wearing the dress, just the ladies. The princesses are the ones competing, not the princes. Alright, all you need to do is make sure you go down gracefully and beautifully. I'll give you a little push. And woo! Don't push me too hard, I'm a little afraid of heights. I'm ready, I was born to do this. Oof, oh! Rapunzel, you hit me, I award you no points. Jeez, it was just an accident, Snow White. I didn't mean to. I agree with Snow White here. Since Rapunzel crashed, she is not winning this round. I choose Ariel. I choose Ariel too. She had an amazing spin at the end of her run and it was just beautiful. Well, it's unanimous then because I choose Ariel too. Congratulations, Ariel. Yay. You win. Yay. Yay. Mm. All I have to do is win the next round and we win everything. Alrighty, now round three will be on twirling. You will each be- oh, 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 can somebody, can somebody please stop the twirling table? Oh, please. Okay, I'm ready to win this whole thing. Oh, Rapunzel! Rapunzel crashed into the audience again. Sorry, Eugene. I, I didn't mean to crash again. It's okay, honey. We'll try to win another competition. Prince Charming, I think we have this in the bag. Wish me luck. Alright princesses, it's time for you all to discuss who is the winner of the Glitter Glider Wedding Competition. First, I would like to thank our contestants. They all did a great job. We have chosen a winner for the spinning competition, and thus the winner of the whole thing, Cinderella! Oh yes, we did it, my darling. We get to have our beautiful wedding and reception at this beautiful Glitter Glider castle. I am so excited. Oh, I just can't believe it. Mwah. This is just so Yay. amazing. This is the I'm perfect so venue. I can't believe we won. And there you have it, folks. Prince Charming and Cinderella just won a free wedding venue. Stay tuned next week to see their wedding. Disney Car Toys here and today I'm showing you most definitely the coolest little mermaid toy ever made. Introducing the ultimate Ariel bath gift set which includes a boat, a castle, and the color change dolls. The boat is pretty impressive with a swing for Ariel, a slide, it shoots bubbles, and it sprays water. You'll see that in a second. The castle comes with Ariel's two sisters, Flounder, a big slide, and a water squirter. Hey Ariel, we're here to see your brand new castle and boat! And we brought a friend! Good day, I am Hans of the Southern Isles. No, 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 we don't want Hans here, Flounder, you know what to do. Okay, with Hans gone, let's get back to playing. Let's load up our little boat with some bubble bath. The bubble bath is not included, so you have to have your own. And just fill it in the little piece of purple coral. To turn on the boat's bubble maker, just turn this little rock dial to the right. You can see it's pretty loud. Let's put it in the water. And let's watch some bubbles. 
here. Oh no! Uh oh! Oh, we lost Elsa! No! No! Not Elsa! She's the star of the show! Oh no! Unfortunately, I can't find my skimmer net, so we'll have to get a search party for Elsa later. In the meantime, let's try the boat out again with just Ariel inside. Oh, yay! It's working! We're not tilting or anything, and wow, look at that power! This boat has a mind of its own. It's really fast, and it even makes turns. This thing is crazy awesome! It does require three AA batteries, but man, this thing's got a lot of power! The Ultimate Aerial Bath Gift Set is, of course, made for the bathtub, but as you can see, it's super fun in the pool, too. But wait, there's more! If you turn the switch to the left instead of getting bubbles, it works as an automated fountain. With the boat, the girls can also enjoy themselves sliding down the slide and into the water. Whee! Or the mermaids can spend a relaxing afternoon swinging. The castle is pretty impressive too. It has suction cups so that it can attach to your bathtub. I just have my set on the patio though, and if you squeeze this little purple seashell, it sprays water way over here! Ariel's castle has a much bigger water slide than the boat. Woo! That's fun! Next up, it's Ariel's turn! Whee! Then Ariel's sister, Elena. Oh, and we can't forget Rista! And let's do something crazy, like a water slide! Whee! Ah! Oh, that did not work! The castle also features a working drawbridge! beek a -boo! And cute little flowers on the side which will spin when you pour water on them! The Ultimate Aerial Bath Gift Set also comes with four figures. Flounder, which of course is a little water squirter. And three color change mermaid dolls. This is Arista. In cold water, her seashell top turns to hot pink. Very pretty. Let's take her over to the warm water here. And now her top is light pink. Almost her skin color. Let's now dip Ariel in the ice cold water burr. And her top, check it out. You see a little bit of blue there? Let's get her out. A nice pretty blue color. Let's walk over to the warm water here. And now it's back to purple. Ariel's sister Elena has probably the weakest color change in cold water. Her seashell top is kind of a brighter pink, dark purple. And in the warm water, her top becomes just a slightly lighter purple. 
Of course, my most favorite feature is the bubble maker. What's your favorite feature? Let me know in the comment section. And if you like this toy and you like this video, please click Boys like. here, and today I'm going to show you Ariel's Flip and Switch Castle. This set comes with a Magic Clip Ariel doll, three little accessories, her bathtub, a towel, and then the Flip and Switch Castle. Inside we have this beautiful mosaic wall with a seashell and inside the shells a little mirror and a tray. We can put her little accessories here, like her little shell and then here's some bath soap. And here's a little bottle of perfume. Now the reason we can call it a flip and switch castle is the bathtub. You can flip it over, see bathtub, then flip it over and now we have a little perfume shelf. Well, Ariel has a lot of perfume. Hmm, let's see, which one should she wear today? Okay, she wore that yesterday. That one's a little too strong. That's a little too floral. Um, you know, to get her to smell pretty, we should really just give her a bath. That would probably make her smell better. Well, to give Ariel a bath, we just gotta flip her bathtub back over. And she can't take a bath in this big poofy dress, so we're going to just squeeze the bottom of the magic clip dress. Ta-da! But her crown stays on and her shoes stay on too, so she's just going to have to take a bath with her shoes on. That's a little silly, but we'll roll with it. So just put Ariel in the bathtub. And we can even just hang up the dress right here to squeeze the bottom. We have a little hanger. And wow, look, her dress looks really pretty hung up like that. Okay, now back to the bath time. Get down to business. Let's pour in some bath soap here. This will give her a nice little bubble bath. There we go. I think that's enough. Okay, I think that's long enough. We don't want Ariel to get little raisin fingers. So let's grab the towel and wrap it around her so that she can dry off. There we go. A nice and soft towel. We'll just keep on wrapping it around. Alrighty, now that Ariel's all dried off, we can grab her dress and we'll put it back on her. This is kind of cool. She enters from the top. You just squeeze the bottom of the dress and put her in there. Uh-oh, Ariel, your hair's in the way. Man, I guess that's the problems you have when you have big, poofy hair like that. Now that Ariel's all clean and fresh from her bath, now she can have some perfume. Okay, that's a lot of perfume. <coughs> oh, she can barely breathe in here. She better go for a walk outside. Well, well, Ariel's outside getting a breath of fresh air. <sighs> she can show you off the gazebo with the shells and the pretty sparkly pink roof. And then on the side of her castle, we've got pictures of the little seahorses. And on the other side, we have pictures of seaweed and a big window. It looks nice. And what? Elsa, what are you doing here? Elsa, get out of my bathtub. Here, take this towel. Oh, uh, sorry. You see, all the other princesses have a castle. Belle, Rapunzel, you, and even my sister Anna. But I don't have anything. Good point, Elsa. But seriously, it's a little weird to come home and you're in my bathtub. Ah, uh, well, I'm sure Belle would have let me use her bathtub. Yeah, I don't know about that. Uh, well, see you later. Ah, uh, natural born princesses. They think they own everything. Hello, Disney Car Toys here, and today I'm going to show you the Ariel and Eric's boat ride from The Little Mermaid. Kiss the girl. Why don't you just kiss the girl? Uh, Ariel? Did you hear something? I keep on thinking I hear somebody tell me to uh, kiss a girl or something. Oh yeah, yeah, I forgot, you can't talk. Oh, hey Prince Eric, how's it going? Oh, uh, somebody keeps on telling me to kiss a girl. Maybe it's you, should I be kissing you? Uh, yeah, sure, why not? Ariel acts like she wants to say something. Oh well. Uh-oh, I think the box is wrong. This toy really isn't just like the movie. Well, back to the toy review. Here's everything that comes with the playset. On the side of the boat, it looks like we have Flounder squirting out some water. And Sebastian can sit up on the side of the boat and whisper into Eric's ear. 
the Ariel doll that comes with this set is super pretty. She has this huge hair bow in back. It looks just like the Ariel from the movie. Ariel's shoes match her dress, and even her skirt is removable. Now Prince Eric's hands can hold the oars of the boat. You can take them off, and you can even put the oars in this little holder on the side of the boat. Now this Prince Eric figure is kind of interesting. He's got his hands cuffed just so that he can hold the oars. But when he's not in the boat, he looks kind of funny. It looks like he's got claws, like he's ready to fight. Arr! His hands look more like kitty claws, like a cat fight. Meow! But other than that, it's a pretty cool character. He's got nice clothing, the white shirt, blue pants, just like the movie. But his boots are blue, which is not like the movie. Probably the best feature of the boat is it does have wheels. The wheels are hiding behind these little wave pieces. And so you can push it back and forth and the waves move back and forth and up and down. So it looks like they're really in the water. Hello, Disney Car Toys here and today I'm going to show you the Snow White's Cottage with a Magic Clip Snow White. Here's the front of Snow White's Cottage. It has this cute little door that you can open and close pretty easily. And on the back we have a garden. And what? You can flip the bush around and you can see the seven dwarfs. And let's open this up. Hey, there's Snow White! Snow White wants to show off her bedroom. She has this beautiful little pink bed. And she could try to sleep on it. Oh, she's a little too tall for it with her dress. Let's take the big bulky dress off and then she could probably sleep better. The dress is really pretty though. It has gold sparkles on the front, but not on the back. Just take off the dress. Now she's got cute little pink jammies. Oh, much better. Her feet still hang off though. And she's sleeping with her shoes on. Oh, Snow White, you're so silly. Now let's take her bed out so I can show you the rest of her room. On her wall here, she's got this little pink bar that she could use maybe for some ballet moves. Ta-da! Or maybe she can use the bar for some pull-ups. And one, two, three. Okay, that's hard. So if Snow White doesn't want to work out or dance, we can always use the bar to hang up her little magic clip dress. Ta-da! How pretty! Now she can look at her dress all day long. With her dress taking up most of the space upstairs, she's going to have to sleep downstairs now. But wait a minute, you're not sleeping, Beauty. You don't need to sleep all day. Let's get your dress on and let's go outside. Uh-oh, Snow White, don't forget your purse. Let's grab it. It's on your little table here. Now we're ready to go outside. Hmm, what should we do in the garden? Oh, look! Right above my well is a huge basket of apples. I think I'll pick that up, too. Ooh, and now it's time to summon the animals! Oh, come on! Where's all Snow White's animal friends? There should be more than this. Oh, there we go. Here's one. She better sing some more. Oh, animal friends, I wish someday my prince would come. Did somebody say prince? I'm a prince. Hello, I'm Hans. Uh, sorry, not interested. What? Why not? It's my hair, isn't it? Ugh. Hello, Disney Car Toys here, and today I'm going to show you the Frozen Magical Lights Palace. This palace is made for small magic clip sized dolls and it includes Elsa and Olaf. There are some pretty fun features with this palace, including the spinning icicle. To get the spinning icicle to work, the first thing you need to do is remove Elsa's throne. Then we'll put Elsa inside. It's kind of cool. There's this little circular piece, and you just stick her legs right in there. And at the top of the palace, you spin the icicle, and now you see Elsa. Now you don't. See her? Now you don't. Oh, and here she is again. When spinning the icicle, just make sure you remove the throne first. Ah! See, it just doesn't work. Elsa, you're stuck. We shouldn't have left your throne in there. Also, make sure she's pushed down in there all the way, or else this happens. Doing well. Ah! Boom. My most favorite feature, though, is the light display. 
There's this little blue snowflake button and when you press it, the palace lights up with beautiful purple and blue lights. In the palace, Elsa can live with her boyfriend, Kristoff. Wait a minute, no, Kristoff is Anna's boyfriend. There we go, okay, then Elsa can live with her boyfriend, Hans. No, 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 Hans is Anna's boyfriend too. Gee, Anna, how many boyfriends do you need? Can't you share with Elsa? It's okay, Elsa can share the ice palace with Olaf, and he's probably the most fun anyway. Well, we've spent a lot of time in the throne room. Now it's time for Elsa to go to her bedroom. She's got this little nice staircase, and she can sleep on her pretty red bed. And her bedroom can even flow up. And when Elsa feels like singing, let it go. She can stick her little legs right here and magically glide up to her balcony. She has a really nice view of Arendelle from her balcony. When you're all done playing, the palace folds up pretty nicely. The lights on the playset look even better on the outside. They remind me of the northern lights. That was a nice light show, but let's go back inside. And for even more play options, this palace works really well with magic clip dolls. Hey look, it's Ariel! Hey Ariel, I believe this is my magical spinning icicle. Can you please move? Okay, okay, I put dibs on your balcony then. Hello, Disney Card Toys here, and today we're going to play with the Sleeping Beauty Fairy Tale on the Go gift set. I also will be showing you from 2007 the Sleeping Beauty Enchanted Tales pop-up storybook house. The main dolls in this gift set are Princess Aurora and Prince Philip, and they are madly in love. The Aurora figure is very pretty with this cute little pink skirt, which is removable, and then she's just wearing a swimsuit underneath. She has long blonde hair just like the movie. Prince Philip has a nice bendy red cape, it reminds me almost like Superman, and the cape is removable. Well, I think it is, er, there we go, it comes off. There's one strange thing about Philip though, his lips are brown. That's weird, maybe he was eating chocolate before this. Aurora is very friendly with the woodland creatures, so it's not surprising that this set comes with this cute little squirrel figurine. The set also includes Meriwether, one of the three fairy godmothers in Sleeping Beauty. At the end of the movie, Meriwether keeps on trying to change Aurora's dress to blue. Turn blue. 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 Oh, sorry, it's staying pink. Oh, she can never catch a break. Probably one of the biggest features in this set is this horse-drawn carriage. Let's give Aurora and the squirrel a ride just to keep things interesting. The horse is really pretty with pink glittery hair. And she even has a pink glittery tail too. Inside the pop-up storybook house, Aurora and Philip can cook dinner together. Enjoy their balcony views of the kingdom. Sing in the forest and summon the animals. Aurora can do that all day long if she wants to. La 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 la! In the living room, Aurora can show off her painting of her BFFs. And when the day is over, Aurora and Prince Philip can dance the night away in front of the fireplace. Hello, Disney Card Toys here, and today I'm going to show you the Frozen Flip and Switch Castle. Anna's Flip and Switch Castle is a good combo with Elsa's Magical Lights Palace, which I filmed earlier. This Frozen playset is pretty basic. It comes with a magic clip, Princess Anna, beauty supplies. It also comes with the castle itself and this handy little couch which turns into a vanity. The couch in this set is really similar to the bed that flips into a vanity that comes with the castle and the ice palace playset. The vanity is super adorable though and a perfect place for Anna to get ready in the morning. Just like other flip and switch castles, there are two sides to play inside and outside on the balcony. This toy is a magic clip set, so let's have Anna try on some magic clip outfits. This one is Cinderella's ball gown. Hmm, what do you think? Is blue Anna's color? Let's try a green Ariel dress on Anna and see if it looks better. There we go. Wow, I think green really is her color. What do you guys think? Green or blue? 
Well, honestly, beyond just staring out the window, there's not much else we can do in this castle. Unless we have a dance party! Woohoo, I have the Petal Float Princesses here to dance the night away. Hey, Cinderella, aren't those our Magic Clip ball gowns over there? Uh-huh, it is. What's up with that? I don't know. Let's ask Anna. Hey, Anna, how did our Magic Clip dresses get in your house? Oh, ladies, that's a really good question, but oh, wow, look at the time. Looks like the party's over. Time to go, everybody. Party's over. See ya. Hello, Disney Car Toys here, and today we're going to play with the Magic Clip Cinderella's Castle. Ladies, thank you so much for coming to my castle on such short notice. One of our fellow princesses is having an emergency. Thank you so much for coming and for bringing your extra ball gowns. Oh dear, what's the emergency? I'm Merida. I have a first date and nothing to wear. <gasps> that is an emergency. Well, Merida, the princesses brought over their extra ball gowns. Why don't you look around and take a pic? I choose this one with a belt. Merida, I think that's the dress you brought. You can't wear that on a first date. It's not princessy enough. Now why don't you try on this yellow dress? That's as something my mother would pick out. Well, I think it's gorgeous. You can't go wrong with yellow. Merida, Merida, you have red hair. Green is the color for you. Here, I've got the perfect dress. Uh, there it is. Right here. This will look stunning. Wow, we this is definitely the dress for you. You have to wear it. Oh, wow, Merida, you look so beautiful. It's perfect, but can you try on my dress? I just really want to see if you look in blue. It might match your eyes. Oh, it looks so pretty. I love the blue. It reminds me of ice. Girls, 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 as a fellow redhead, I think I know what's going to be perfect for her, this purple dress that will match mine. See, we look like best friends, red hair and purple dresses. Ariel, the blue ice theme is much better than the purple theme. Well, Merida, who are you going out with tonight? Maybe that will help us determine the color of the dress you should wear. Oh yeah, Merida, who are you seeing? I don't remember his name. But her he is. Oh, get it! <gasps> Hunt? Oh no, Anna is not going to like this one. So Elsa, who's at the door? Who's her date? Uh, it's Hans. Hans? Oh, what's she doing with him? What's wrong with Hans? Well, let's just say you might want to bring your bow and arrow with. Hello, Disney Card Toys here, and today I'm going to show you the Little Mermaid Castle and Undersea playset. This is a Magic Clip doll toy that comes with a dress, Ariel as a mermaid, and flounder. The playset is all connected with a castle on top and a magical water slide that leads down to the ocean. Hey sisters, I have a special surprise for all of you. I found all this jewelry and I figured we could do a little scavenger hunt game. So let me hide the jewelry and then you can swim around and find it. Okay, I'll put one there and one in my little seashell swing. Just one on the floor and the fork near flounder. I think we're all set. Okay sisters, time to hunt. Oh, this is easy. Look, there's a necklace right here. Oh, I always thought I looked good in pearls. Hey guys, I found one. It's on a statue and it's pink. Will match my fin. Ariel, I love this necklace. Thanks so much. I've got to find more. <gasps> there's one. It's mine. Get out of my way. Hey, that's mine. No, it's mine. No. Mine! Huh! Okay, one more necklace left! Hey, let me find it. I only have one necklace. Oh, hey! Oh, there it is! Right on the seashell! 
Woohoo, we have two necklaces each. There's one more thing we're missing, sisters. It's a dingle hopper. But I guess some people call it a fork, too. Hey, look, it's right by Flounder. I'll get it. This is great! I can eat food with this, and I can also brush my hair with it. Looks like I'm the winner! That means I get to go in the seashell swing first. Woo woo! Yeah! Unfair! Sorry, Arista, that's the rules. She won! Whee! Hey, Ariel, who's the cute statue? Hey, he's mine! Back off! Hey, Ariel, you know how you wanted to trade your voice so you can enter the human world? Uh, yeah? Well, I actually figured out a much easier way. There's a slide right there. You can just climb it and enter the human world. No way. Yes way. Here, let's just climb it. I'll show you. Universe! Hey, don't make fun of me! Hey, Ariel! That's the guy from the statue! That's the guy! He is pretty hunky! Hey, no, no, no! He's mine! Back off! Hey, Ariel! Look! It's a magical human dress! If you put it on, you're instantly a human! What? Really? Yeah, I want to try it on first! No, I've wanted to be a human way longer than you have! I get to try it on first! Okay, you're right. Hey, everybody, look! I'm a human! I'm a human! I have legs! I can dance! Oh! It's okay, guys. I'm fine. I'm fine. Just a little fall. If you liked this video, please click like. And for more original toy videos, please subscribe to my Disney Card Toys channel. everyone, Barbie here, and unfortunately today I have to show you a toy fail of my Barbie Splash and Spray Water Park. Well, first of all, it's a mermaid toy and it didn't come with Ariel? Oh, she's offended. The set does float pretty well in the swimming pool though, so that's nice. And it squirts water from the crown of the octopus and the side of the octopus, just like real life. But to get the octopus to spray water, you have to press the seashell and my hands aren't big enough. I need to use human hands. It does come with this bling bling glam starfish swing, which I was really excited about. I was like, I could totally rock this thing, but whoa! I never stay on! I keep on falling in the water! And did I mention my pearl is made out of green plastic? I only like real things. Come on, I'm Barbie. And my treasure chest isn't even real. It's just a big glob of plastic gold coins. And then there's my beach. I thought I could lie down and enjoy it, but well, I keep on sliding off. My slide really isn't too bad. I do like sliding head first and then, oh, oh man, I'm falling again. And my friends get stuck on this slide. It's embarrassing. Here, try it out, Ariel. Oh, see, her arms are stuck. And then she falls in too and sinks. I have a secret hideout, but apparently my hair is too big. I don't even fit in this thing. Probably my biggest frustration is that my swing keeps on falling off. It's a safety hazard. But these beads stay on. I can chill here. Let's go. Woo! Oh man. Okay, let's try again. Ugh, again. Forget the beads. I'll try the swing. Ugh. Hi, hi, excuse me, Elsa, Anna, I'm not really liking my temporary house right now. Can I stay in your castle? Yeah, sure, Barbie, just as long as you can entertain Anna. She keeps on asking me to build a snowman. The Barbie toy featured in this video is the Splash and Spray Water Park. The swings really do turn, and it does float in the bathtub or the swimming pool. And the octopus really does spray water using the seashell which you squeeze. So what do you think everyone? Is this toy a win or a fail? Let me know in the comments section.